Hello everyone, welcome back. Mid Journey ended their free trial due to abuse of the system and high demand. But I have found an amazing alternative for creating AI images that is Leonardo AI. But you know, writing prompt is difficult, so I taught GPT 4 to write prompts for me. Leonardo AI uses a stable diffusion syntax, so I made some necessary changes from my previous prompt, which I discussed in my GPT 4 plus stable diffusion video. If you haven't watched it yet, make sure to check it out after this video. So before we start creating images, let's have a look at the structure which I have changed here. So I don't want it to use any curly brackets. So these are the changes made here. Apart from that, I don't want to use any weight. I just want keyword to be in this brackets. Okay. So this is what I have given here and uh, some basic updates updated here. To get access for Leonardo AI, you need to fill out the forms for early access. Once you have the early access, you will be able to access it and start creating images. So once you log in with your uh, email, which has been whitelisted, you will get 150 tokens every day to create images. So let's have a look at the UI for the Leonardo AI because I have not created any separate video. So I'll just go with the basic and then we will start creating images. Okay. So if you see here, you have this trending option where you will see the generation created by other users. And if you hover on the image, or if you click, you will find the prompt used for that and you will get a negative prompt as well. So this is the best place to learn as well how to do prompting for Leonardo AI. And there are other basic details like resolution, which model uh, was used and other details, right? So let's go ahead and look at other details. So this is your personal feed section where you can click and you will find whatever images you have generated, uh, you'll be able to see here. Then you have training and data set. So this is one other options where you can train your own model and you can create images based on that. And then you have some fine tuned model. So looking at the platform model tab, you will find all the models which is provided by Leonardo AI. And these are amazing models. You can create stunning images, game assets and other things. Apart from that, you have community models where other people are creating models and sharing it here, which you can use to generate your images. So let's have a look at some other models. So consider if you want to create a superhero based on little babies, right? So you can select this model and start creating it. So how will you create this? Just click on this and click generate with this model and it will open the UI where you can provide details and start creating images. Okay. Then you have tools here that is AI image generations to create any images. You will click on this and it will take you to generation tool where you can select number of images you want to create, the dimensions, uh, there are basic uh, aspect ratio here, guidance scale, you can use image to image or image prompt, you can use the seed here, and these are the models where you can select. So you can select platform models, or you know, like now we selected this little hero, so it is coming here, you can select RPG model or anything. Apart from that, you have something called Leonardo style, we have negative prompt option and then there is something called prompt magic. So let's start creating our prompt. So I've given the basic prompt to GPT and the first thing I want to create was superhero in Marvel style close up shot of female character. So it has given me three prompt which is a photorealistic artistic image and pencil drawing. So I'll go ahead and try with this first one. So let's take this go to Leonardo AI uh, can provide the prompt here and I'll be using RPG model here. Uh, so let's go ahead and generate. So for now, I'll be just generating two images. So click on generate and let's wait. So let's have a look at the images generated here. So you can see the details on the face here and the suit and other stuff. Now let's take this pencil drawing and try that. So I'll go ahead, change the prompt here, provide this and I'll go ahead again with the two. So you'll see that, you know, after using this will take two tokens and I have around 69 left now. So let it load. So look at this. This is a pencil drawing uh, art which was created using our prompt. So this looks amazing, right? I mean, we are able to just provide a very basic detail and it is able to generate prompts like this, right? So just look at this. I just gave a superhero in Marvel style close up shot female character. And this is the result I'm able to generate. So let me show you some of my other uh, image generation which I have generated using uh, chat GPT prompt. So this again was a superhero and I tried some isometric lab. And this is a splash color art. Then I generated using this uh, human as Android. Look at these. These are amazing results. Uh, I really like this one. These are like super realistic. Apart from that, I tried some game character. So 
So that's all for the day, guys. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button, share with your friends, and the prompts will be available in the description of the video. So download and try it. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.